Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Comma In. Today I'm going to be reacting to Rose and Ed from 90 Day Fiancé. If you guys are not watching 90 Day Fiancé, you guys are sleeping. You guys are missing out on a fun show, especially during this quarantine period. So 90 Day Fiancé is about lovebirds that are far away from each other and want to come together and get married. So you can be in Australia, you can be in Nigeria, you can be in the Philippines, you can be in the United States. Just, you know, in a long distance relationship, figuring out ways that you guys can meet up and be together. A lot of people are being scammed on the show like live. Like we're watching people being literally scammed on the show and they do not know or they are in denial that they're being scammed. So I'm going to be reacting to Rose and Ed. They're actually one of my favorite couples. Rose is completely different and opposite from Ed. Ed is like a 53 year old man. Rose is like the single mother. She's 23 years old and they're like worlds apart from each other and so i know ed wants to tell rose something very important and i know it's about not wanting kids because rose wants kids and he doesn't want kids so i'm gonna see how rose reacts to that and what's gonna happen you guys are gonna be watching it with me let's go i need to talk to you what so last night remember it you. Oh, like Rose kills me with her facial expression. Like she kills me. One minute she looks like she likes the guy. Another minute she looks like she's completely disgusted of Ed. He may not look like your typical guy, but if she, you know, if she told him she's gonna be with him, then she has to, you know, accept him for who he is. You know what I'm saying? Like her, her facial expression just gives it away. Like she doesn't like this guy. Talking about you wanted more kids. And I want to be honest with you and tell you that I've raised a daughter, you know, she's 29 and it was a wonderful experience, but having more kids is not something that I want. In fact, before I came... Oh, he doesn't want kids and Rose wants kids. He raised, he has raised a daughter that is 29 years old. And I understand that, you know, raising kids in this part of the world is completely expensive. It's no joke. You have to be financially stable to be able to raise a kid. And he's obviously speaking from experience because he has a daughter that is 29 years old and um, he knows how that was like for him. But at the same time, you can't completely close the chapter because you have, you have to think about the other person, which is Rose. She's 23 years old. She's a young girl. Like she has a, like her life ahead of her and she already has a kid, but then it's like, like, come on. She had a kid when she was young. She was probably like 18 or like 17 when she had her first kid. And of course she would want to experience having a kid in a marriage and having a kid, you know, as a unit. So I understand Rose if she's like upset, but let's see how she, let's see how she reacts. To see you in the Philippines, I had, Scheduled two appointments to have an operation. It's called a vasectomy. What? I can I, I do, I do not understand. There is an operation in here. I think now is, he already scheduled two appointments to get a vasectomy. Did he tell her about getting a vasectomy? That's the thing. Did he tell her? Did he let her know prior to coming? Okay, obviously he just said that before he came, he scheduled the appointment. But the thing is, did he tell her? She's saying, she's acting like she doesn't know what vasectomy means. Obviously he didn't tell her. Because if they had this conversation prior to that, she would have known what it meant. But she doesn't know what vasectomy means, meaning he didn't tell her. You can't be doing that in a relationship. You can't be acting like you're an individual. When you're in a relationship, you're a whole unit. You're you're with somebody. You can't just think about yourself and yourself alone. You gotta think about the other person. So Ed Ed Edna. Ed 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 got zero points from me. Where it's a it's a snip snip. It prevents me from getting you pregnant. Why you not tell me last night? I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. I want two kids because that's my dream. I tell you before, right? I tell you I wanna... But that's the thing. Okay, look. She wants two kids. Ed doesn't want any kids. How do you work that out? 
it is not possible you guys have to come to a, an agreement a conclusion and a compromise she wants two kids it wants none I'm sorry, but you can't be with someone that doesn't agree with you. You guys cannot have completely different views when it comes to something as important as having kids. It's not, we're not talking about who is going to live in Florida and who is going to live in New Jersey or who is going to live in Texas and who is going to live in Vegas. We're talking about having kids. Having kids, kids are an important aspect when it comes to a marriage. So, Rose wants two kids, Ed wants none. Are they going to compromise? If they don't compromise, then they should, they should move on and meet people that are going to accept them for who they are. Period. Gates, but why you not answer me like this? I feel um, very, very, very sad. And I think uh, I give you a time for thinking about this. I don't need time. Rose, I'm telling you now, I don't want more kids. Yo, he looks like he is stuck on this. He's set. His decision is already made. But she told him, she told him that she wants two kids. Why did he tell her? Why did he tell her, oh, look, I, I don't want no kids. Why did he tell her that? Why did he wait till he got to the Philippines to tell her that? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Hey, what's up with you? Why did you tell Rose that you don't want kids? When she told you that she wanted two kids, not one, but two kids, you decided not to tell her you wanted a vasectomy. Stop playing, Ed. Stop playing. That is not cool. That is absolutely not cool. And he looks like he's, bad, he's stuck on it. Talking about, I'm, I ain't got nothing to think about. Mm -mm, bruh, you got a lot of things to think about, okay? I want to be able to give you the best life I can with what I have. I'm not rich. I, I work. I work very hard for my money. I know. I only have enough love. I only have enough money for you and for Prince. I understand where he's coming from. Don't get me wrong. I understand his thought process. He has raised a kid that is 29 years old in America. It is hard. It's not easy. You have to be completely financially stable to raise a kid. I understand what he's talking about. He said he has enough love, he has enough finances to take care of Rose and her son. He doesn't have any other means to take care of another child. I understand that. But at the same time, that is not an information you keep to yourself. That is not an information you hold on to until six, seven, eight, one year later. You have to talk to your partner. Tell them, like this, having kids is very important. If two parties are in complete opposite pages when it comes to having kids it is not gonna work out you guys have to it's either ed would would you know just give rose one kid okay just give her one she wants to give her one that's a compromise that's a compromise right there she wants to just give her one you gotta expect a 23 year old girl that only has one kid to not have any more kids it's not fair you are 53 years old my guy you are 53 years old i am pretty sure you can you can give her one come up now we're gonna watch her reaction because um, apparently she, you know, she left the hotel room and she was pretty upset about the whole thing and she's gonna meet up with Ed, uh, Ed. She actually left. Ed was looking for her and everything. So we're gonna watch that right now. I was worried about you. Where were you this morning? Um, um, I woke up early morning and I want to think of what you said yesterday. I want to be alone and have space for things. Is she breaking up with him? Oh my God. Is she really breaking up with him? I, I understand where she's coming from. I understand 100%. Because it's easier to break up right now that you're not married than to wait to get married and then get a divorce. I understand her, but wow. It did not take a lot of time. It happened the previous day and she decided to break up the next day. She is not playing. She is not playing. So, I think for now, I'm, I, uh, I not feel good. Okay, not feel good about 
Having kids? Yeah. You want kids? Yeah, I want kids because that's my dream. I feel irritated, I feel um, disappointed, you know, because I told Ed so many times I want baby. Why you not tell me the truth? You not want a baby? Why? What do you mean? Why, I'm, do, Why you not tell me first before you come here? So he's gonna act like he doesn't know what she's talking about. She's asking him, uh, why did you not tell me that you don't want any kids? Why did you tell her that you didn't want any kids? Ed, I'm asking you, why did you not tell her? Were you scared that she was gonna leave you? Were you scared that she was gonna break up with you? Were you scared that she was not gonna accept it? So you knew what you were doing from the get-go, but yet you decided not to tell her that you did not want any kids. And she told you multiple times. Why? Why? What's but, wrong? Because I'm 54 years old. I don't want more kids. Why you not tell me the truth? Why you not telling me first on chatting? Why you tell me right now or yesterday? Why you not tell me you because before you come here? I should have been more truthful. I should have. I apologize. I should have said, look, I don't want more kids but I wanted to get to know you. I wanted you to get to know me to make sure that we are compatible. I wanted you to see who I am. It doesn't matter. You don't want kids, she wants kids. Y'all are not compatible, period. There's, there's, no, there's no ifs and or buts. You don't want kids at all. And he's stuck on it, he's set on it. He's not compromising on that fact. She wants kids. She's not changing for that. You guys are not compatible. Ed, listen to, I'm talking to you, Ed. You guys are not compatible. I don't know, Ed is annoying me. Like, seriously, like, seriously, like, I, like, why did you tell her now? Why did he tell her? Why did he not tell her that he didn't want any kids before he came down to the Philippines? He met her son, he's, um, he met her father, he met her sister. Why did he not tell her? Why did he not tell her before he came to the Philippines? Hmm. I know who you are, I think. You know, first uh, lied to me about height, right? And then you want to give me a um, STD test, right? And about mouth wash and why you tell me I know I'm, I'm, I have a sick and I have a ulcer. So I'm disappointed because you always embraced me. Yeah. And about to my sister, I think you, you think me like my sister, same. Uh, you think uh, I want your money, not you. You give me feel a little bit personally. I think you not love me. I'm done. Oh yeah, she she's mad. She's like, mm -mm, I'm not taking this BS no more. Okay, so initially before they actually met, um, they didn't really tell her the truth about his height. Um, Ed is like four foot something and some change. Um, he didn't really tell her um, his actual height. And then when they when they met physically, she was a little bit disappointed because he didn't tell her the height. And then when he got to the Philippines, he wanted her to get a STD test. She was disappointed and embarrassed. And then he gave her a mouthwash talking about your breath stank. Okay? He didn't play. It was your breath stank. And he gave her a mouthwash. She was embarrassed about that as well. And then he, apparently, her sister asked Ted for money while he was still in the States through Facebook. And he told her about that too. That's what she's talking about right now. But then, <clears throat> Ed is blunt. Ed is blunt. He doesn't hold nothing. He doesn't hide nothing. He says it as he sees it and how he feels it. Mm -mm. I'm done. Oh, 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 she broke up. She was like, I'm done. You know what? Kudos to Rose. Kudos to Rose. You gotta let Ed know that you're not, you don't, you're not, you're not chasing him for his money. You're not chasing him to come to the States. You're your own woman. You're independent. You can do you. You can do you, boo. Okay? Be done. Say done. Stay done. Be done. Good job, Rose. Kudos to you, mommy. <laughs> Alright, guys. Look. I love this show so much. I love this show a lot. And if you guys are not watching this show, you guys can watch it on TLC. 
just type it on Google 90 Day Fiance and a bunch of different websites will come up um, where you can watch it for free it is very entertaining to watch and this is like real life stuff this is not scripted or anything this is real life and and everybody's at home right now so you ain't got nothing to do so just go go check it out watch it and be entertained you're going to laugh you're going to cry you're going to curse you're going to be mad you're going to be frustrated you're going to be like angry because a lot of them are so like naive you, you like it, 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 it's gonna be hard for you to understand how naive like an adult can be so you guys go check them out um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video let me know if you watch 90 day fiance and let me know what you think about Ed and Rose in the comment section below I want to hear you guys thoughts I, I don't know if I'm crazy if I'm tripping but Ed was completely 100% wrong about not telling her that he didn't want any kids let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you watch 90 day fiance if you want to watch it if you've seen clips of it let me know in the comment section below let's talk about it people okay thank you guys so much for tuning into this reaction video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yes okay and share this video let's go we're almost at 2,000 subscribers guys we're doing it we're doing it we're almost there let's get it and I'm gonna see you guys next video bye guys